All right, today we're presented with this uh, little short bird. I believe this is a short bill dowager, if I'm not mistaken. You really can't tell the difference, you know, unless you look at the tail feathers of which some kitty has removed them. So anyway, I'm going to call it a short bill because I just think that SB Dowager is a cool name. Anyway, um, this guy actually has a tiny bit of uh, heavy metal density in his intestines. He does have a bite wound back here on his tail. Uh, I guess next to his missing tail feathers. So we're going to get this guy an antibiotic shot. You know, go ahead and start him on some, some medications to absorb some of the lead toxicity. Turn him over to one of the rehab centers and see if they can get this guy fattened up and ready to go for his finished migration. Anyway, uh, so far so good. This guy is still with us. Usually most birds that are attacked by cats, especially wild birds, don't make it the first 24 hours. And this guy is doing good so far. Anyway, so that is Mr. or Mrs. SBD's life story at this point in time. Uh, wish just got luck. Later. I'm hoping I can get you to notice this, but one of the things I was noticing when I was playing with this guy is the beak is rather prehensile. Look at how... Look at how it, the tip of it becomes a point like a pair of tweezers, or it'll actually bend up like this. It's awesome. I've never seen a bird's beak do this before. So anyway, I'm learning something as we speak. Which means anatomically, this guy probably has... An abductor, a flexion. Okay, this bird. <laughs> After much ado over this guy, actually a little bit more research, it turns out it's a woodcock. So I stand corrected. So I don't know if I should keep the SB name or not. I'm just so confused. But anyway, this is the American woodcock. Uh, still amazed by this thing's beak. I didn't know birds' beaks could do that. Anyway. Our buddy here is uh, going to be picked up soon by the wildlife rehab people. We have a treatment plan for him, and chances are this guy will make it back out there. The good news is they just got in a double ton of worms for this guy to eat. So, woohoo! <laughs> All right. I guess today is one of those days. Mark your calendars, everybody. I was wrong. I want to admit that very often, but today's that day. Later.